Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do a stage 2 remap on a smart car 2009. We're going to open up ECM Titanium. Browse for the original file. Open up the original file and let us search the database. As you can see the system has picked up two ECUs which are the same as this car's identity. We're going to go ahead and open the first one. And now we've got all of the maps showing for this car. We're going to open injection. For stage 2 we've got between 3 to 8% increase on the injection. So we'll go ahead and take this down to 0.5 and press the percent button. And now we'll select the load from 19 to 1000 RPMs and increase it by pressing page up. We're going to keep following through with this until we get to the end of the data. We're going to do the same thing here, press the percent button and select the data again and press page up to increase it each time. Once that's done we can close this and move on to the next one. Next is rail pressure. We'll open the rail pressure map, take the percentage we need to increase it by, this one is 4. We'll go back to onto ECM and we'll work with 4% here. So we'll select the same data and press page up. Leave a gap of 2 rows and 2 columns and increase it. So right now this data that's selected has been increased by 1% completely and the red one is at 0.5. We're going to keep following this pattern to get an equal increase. That makes it 3.5% increase altogether. Once that's done we can move on to the next map and we're going to do the same thing here. So press the percent button, press page up to increase the values and keep doing that throughout the data. that's done we can move on to the next map 
which is phase of injection. The injection map we're going to increase by 8% as I said before. So we'll go ahead and select the data. And this time we'll make the percentage 1. Press the percent button and press page up. Every time you change the percentage, you have to make sure you press the percent button so that it's locked onto the new percentage and it will increase it by that much each time. Once that's done, we'll move on to the next available map, which is fuel. Press enter to access the map. We're increasing the fuel by 5% on this. So we'll keep that at 1. We'll put the percentage at 0 0.5 for this one. Select the data, press the percent button and press page up. And we're going to keep doing this by skipping one row and one column each time and getting a total increase of 5% once that's done we can move on to the next available map the turbo pressure is going to be increased by 10% so we'll go back select turbo pressure and take the percentage to 1 press the percent button and select the data once again and we're going to follow the same step that we followed for the rest of the maps keep increasing about 1% each time you go through so that you can get a total of 10% increase. Once that's done, we can close this. And now you've got another one. And for this one, we're going to put the percentage to 2%. As we need to select the data again, and there's less space to move around. So we'll move it by 2% and keep going through. But this time we just need to increase 5 data sets instead of 10. And that is our 10% increase on this block here. So now we can close this and move on to the next one. Pressure limiter will do now as well. And this one is also 10% altogether. So we'll select the same data from 20 to 1100. Press the percent button and increase the values by pressing page up. Do this for the next four steps so that you can get 10% increase in the total data. Once that's done, you can close this and move on to the last maps, which are the torque limiters. The torque limiters we're increasing by 40%. So if I open one of them and I take the percentage up to 40, Once the percentage is on 40, we can select the whole map, press the percent button and press page up and we can close this and move on to the last one, which is also a torque limiter. Press enter as you can see along the bottom. Select all of the data, click the percent button and press page up. Once you've done that, you've now completed all of the maps and your file is ready. So what you can do is press save, click no, so you don't need to save on the database. and then click yes to export the modified file you can now save this as whatever you need to into the main folder so that you can find it later
this is a stage 2 eco and power mode. Once that's done you can close ECM, open up the folder and you can see that the new file is here and it's ready to be put into the car. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads. Thank you.